this is just his new thing and it's driving me crazy <laughs> guys welcome back today we're gonna be doing our very last monthly update video makes me so sad to even say that but camera is now one as most of you know and so probably from now on we'll just do like a yearly update because every month will kind of just be crazy I could lie and say that I'm putting 11 months and 12 months together today because um, they're very similar, but really I'm just lazy so lazy and forgetful that I forgot to do an 11 month photo shoot And so today I had him wearing both of these for some pictures, right? As you see in our thumbnail. Oh god, what are we gonna do? Say mommy you forgot I did Anyway, let's get right into it. Um, I have a little paper to help me through because I'm definitely gonna forget stuff, right? Okay, so let's start with sleep like always. Like the past few months, Cameron has been sleeping pretty well through the night. The only issue that I'm having with him is that um, he's still waking up like two to three times to have a bottle at night. And the problem isn't necessarily that I have to get up too because I'm so used to getting up. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? I'm used to getting up with him now at this point. So my issue is that his milk is no longer his food. And so he's not waking up because he's hungry. He's not drinking formula anymore where it's like something that he needs during the night. Right, Cam? I think, I think it's probably just habit for him at this point too, but it's like, now that he's one, he shouldn't be waking up for milk, I don't think. But my issue is that the more that he's drinking, and we have up the ounces, he's drinking like 10 to 11 ounces at night. The more ounces that he drinks, the more ounces of pee he has at night too. So then I have to get up and change his diaper as well. And it's just like too much at three in the morning. Hey. So if any of you are familiar with this type of situation, and you have like advice or, um, things that work for you please let me know what you did so I could try it and so that's the drama I'm having with um, nighttime right now just waking up for milk that he doesn't even really need in terms of food he did finally transition he was on a really specialized formula called Elecare and that's because he's allergic to dairy and so we went from Elecare formula to almond milk and I'm gonna make a separate video about the transitioning and the different details of it. But overall, it was pretty smooth of a process and it only took like maybe a week, week and a half. So it wasn't bad at all. So now when he has milk, it's more of just like a regular beverage. He does use it for comfort at this point. And so he has it before his naps and at night before he goes to sleep. And so for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, he's having real people food. <laughs> and that's been interesting because he's a really picky eater. He's also dairy free and he's allergic to eggs. And so finding things that he can't eat, number one, and things that he actually will eat has been kind of difficult. But as it stands, he has a few favorites. He loves pasta, he loves meat. Um, we're working on the vegetables. He likes carrots, he surprisingly likes zucchini, but Broccoli, green peas, not a fan of it. I don't remember if I mentioned this in a previous update video or not, but um, he is also having juice, mainly apple juice. And what I'll do is I'll give it to him for dinner and then for lunch and breakfast, he'll have water. But when I give it to him, I either will buy the Mott's for Tots where it's kind of like watered down or I'll water it down myself by putting like a little less than half water and then the rest apple juice. That's it for food. Um, in terms of clothing sizes, he's in between 18 to 24. And so in his 11th month, he was closer to the 18 month range. And then now this month at 12 months, he's closer to the 24 month size. He's growing very quickly. You coming back? Come on, come join us. Come, come, oh, oh no. Here, let me have it, come. Okay. Oh, D, D, D. Okay, bye-bye. Here, you gonna take your book? Take it with you. 
Okay, so moving on to social life. Um, these past two months, he's been having a lot of hangouts with his friends. We went to a first birthday party about a month ago, and um, there were like five or six kids that were either just turning one or about to turn one, and they were just so cute dancing and playing together. And so I made a lot of new mommy friends there, and he made a lot of new baby friends there. So that was cool. Um, he had his first birthday party a few weeks ago, and he had a lot of friends and cousins come to that as well. So that was a good time. Um, if you haven't seen that vlog yet, you can check that out on my channel. Um, what else for social life? Cameron broke 400 followers on his Instagram. His Instagram is at Lil Camerino. Um, definitely follow him if you want to see like the things that he's up to during the day. He's always into something, always acting crazy. Um, if you want to see pictures of him and his outfits and just, you know, his everyday life, go ahead and follow him. His at name is always in the description at the bottom. So you can scroll down and look for that um, if you want to follow him. Okay, next is physical skills. And I'm gonna break that up into the two different months because it does vary a little bit. So when he was 11 months, he started clapping and then along with clapping, he, he started saying yay. So you rarely see him clapping without saying yay. Wow. <laughs> Come. Oh, show them how you clap. So just last night, I was showing my aunt um, his birthday vlog video. And towards the end, there's a clip of like everyone singing happy birthday to him. And at the end, they're all like, yay, clapping and everything, right? So Cameron stopped what he was doing. He was playing with his toys. And he looked up at the TV and he was like, yay. <laughs> like, it was like he was reliving that moment. So he also will clap like when we're in church and the whole congregation is clapping for whatever reason. He'll start clapping and saying yay as well. So funny to see his developments. Um, what else? He started trying to chase us. So say we're all in like the living room or something and I'll get up to go get something from my room. I guess he takes it as like me running away. And so immediately he'll get up and then, then I'll hear his little feet like trying to catch up to me. So I'll turn around, he's behind me like chasing me, right? Running after me, you run after me. So now I'll usually go get what I went to get and then I'll come out of my room and pretend like I'm chasing him and then he'll run around and say, it becomes like a game. Um, what else? Oh my God, he learned how to go down the stairs, right? There was one night I was going out with my friend Erin. My sister came over to watch him and um, she had ordered pizza. So she was eating her pizza in the kitchen and I guess somebody went downstairs and forgot to put the gate up. And so when she was done with her pizza, she was looking around for him, she couldn't find him. She looked down the stairs and he was down at the bottom of the stairs, just staring at her, smiling. She was like, oh my God, what? Like, how do you know how to do that? It's kind of bittersweet because, you know, I want him to know how to safely get down. But at the same time, now that he knows how, he, like, is adamant about going down by himself. Like, even when I'm carrying him, he's trying to get down to do it himself. And I'm just like, it's too soon. Too soon. Okay, so his physical skills in the 12th month. This boy knows how to get up and down off of the couch and the bed now. So what he does is he has this little toddler chair and he'll take that and push it against whatever he's trying to get on and he uses it as a step stool. It's crazy. The other day I was in the kitchen and he was in the living room and he got real quiet. Those of you toddler moms know that when your kid gets quiet, it's not a good thing. So I poked my head out to see like what he was doing and he was sitting on the couch and I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I woke up to him and the chair was against the couch. I'm like, oh Lord. So I put him on the floor just to kind of watch how he does it. And that's what he did. He got on the chair. He stood on top of the chair to get onto the couch. And he was chilling on the couch, sitting watching TV like he was one of us. Get down. It's crazy, right? You're too smart. Um, What else? He knows how to turn on the TV. Like... One day we had just gotten home and um, he ran straight into the living room, picked up the remote and I could see him like studying the remote and then all of a sudden his little finger went to the top of the remote and pressed the power button and I'm like, no way. 
how? How do you know to do that? I think it's just like he studies us. He watches our every move. He's very observant. And then he just picks up on stuff. The last thing is stressing me out, y'all. It's stressing me out. So he has this thing now where he likes to pick things up and throw them over like edges. And so for an example, we have the gate over the stairs, right? So say he'll pick up, I don't know, an empty bottle from the floor. He'll pick it up, he'll run to the gate and throw it right over so he can watch it tumble down the stairs. So every once in a while, I need to go downstairs for something like maybe laundry and I'll move the gate. All of a sudden there's all these random objects on the stairs. I'm just like, oh, Lord. He does it with the gate down the stairs. He does it in the bathroom or the bathtub. He does it from his high chair with food. He does it in the crib. Like this is just his new thing and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> Moms, comment down below and let me know how old your child was when you started weaning them from the pacifier or even if they use one at all. Cause I have like maybe three mommy friends. I have kids that are similar ages and they didn't even want their pacifier when they were younger. So now they're not gonna have the struggles that I do trying to get trying to wean him off. Yeah. All right, so last but not least, our favorite product of this month will definitely be the toddler chair that I was telling you about. He got it for his birthday from his big cousin, Tiffany. Shout out to you, Tiff. She's the best, side note. But it's the cutest little chair. It's Paw Patrol. It's the perfect little size for him. It has a pocket on the side. So when things go missing, we often check that little pocket to see if he's placed it in there, right? You going bye-bye? Okay, see you later. Um, and although I'd rather him not use it as a step stool, it is kind of helpful in that way too. So he's not trying to climb other things to get on there. Um, it's pretty sturdy, so I don't have to really worry too much. But yeah, that pretty much concludes our final monthly update. Um, I am gonna continue this kind of series of the first year where I just share um, different things that I've learned about this first year that I think might be helpful for you guys um, for when you have kids in the future or if you have kids now that are under one. So look out for those. And yeah, we'll see you in our next video.